Welcome to Growing Gray Naturally number seven. As you can see, I did what I thought I wasn't going to do, and I cut off more hair. Um, for those who have watched my other videos, I will catch you up a little bit. Or they, they already know what I'm about to say, but for those who are watching for the first time, my process of going gray started by dyeing my part only. So I only dyed my part, and I think it was a little bit more over here, but I only dyed my part for about five months. And that allowed everything underneath to grow in. So everything underneath is growing in longer and longer, and my top is staying black. Now what's happened is in the last month, I stopped dyeing my part, but as you can see, it's growing in without too much of a cap. Technically, you can see the cap a little bit, but it's also growing in so that it's allowing the streaks to hide the cap. So that is the trick to this whole process, and I think it's working because you can see that it looks like it's streaks. There's been people that have asked me, Oh, how are they doing that? Meaning the hairdresser. How are they, how are they only, you know, like, what, are they bleaching out the bottom of your hair? And then how are they doing that? <clears throat> anyway, and I'm telling them, nobody's doing anything. This is just a natural process. And when I pull this back to show them how wide it is underneath, I said, this is just <clears throat> all natural. And, um, and that's, that's how I'm doing it. I'm not streaking my hair. I'm not low lighting my hair. I'm not doing anything. Um, some people have come up to me, a hairdresser at Ulta said to me, she goes, oh, I really like your hair. But then when I proceeded to show her that all it underneath was a natural thing, she, she suggested that I go through the bleaching process and, um, and then the toning process. And I'm thinking, well, why would I want to do that? I just need some patience to see this through because in the bleaching process, I don't want to be an odd color like a, a blonde kind of uh, gray hair. This is a natural color and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So let me show you underneath and um, you'll see what I mean by all the white and the gray and the silver that's underneath. here because you can see now um, the different colors it's darker in the back which I've noticed most people that's kind of the pattern and then it gets lighter towards the front which is like a white really um, so I'd say it's like a salt and pepper silver and white mix um, and there's the line all right so if I were <clears throat> growing my hair out without this process that um, I kind of made up, then that's pretty much what I would be seeing everywhere is the white cap. And um, I didn't want the white cap. So now you can see as I go like this, um, how much of that, that just kind of starts blending and it looks like streaks. So I'm just kind of finish this out. reasons why I wanted um, to cut my hair is 
I just didn't like that middle. I, I cut it to here and it was down to here and mid length for me was driving me crazy. So um, I've cut it short. I don't think I'll go any shorter, but um, I might. Um, but I, I think this is it because I do like long hair. And, um, but I know in the process of, of growing out your gray, a lot of people will get it extremely short so that they um, avoid that cap as well. But anyway, uh, I do believe it's working. So if you want to try this, uh, buy your products somewhere where you can pre-mix. I buy mine at Sally's and um, just pre-mix, just kind of like Grecian Gray formula is in tiny little bits. So you can pre-mix tiny amounts <clears throat> and then just dye your part, let everything grow out underneath and um, get it nice and long and then start growing out your part and that part um, will no longer look like a cap because it'll start blending in. But like I said, I mean, you can still see where that would have been the white cap, but um, when my hair is completely styled and dry, um, it hides it pretty well and the streaks come through. And like I said, a lot of people are asking me how I'm doing this and um, they're thinking that it's like some sort of streaking process or whatever they call it nowadays, highlighting um, process. So. Um, takes time and it takes patience and um, I guess um, I'm getting closer to my goal so everybody out there have a very happy Thanksgiving